a secret European oasis, San Miguel Island is a nature lover's dream. From natural thermal pools and waterfalls to dramatic coastlines and volcanic landscapes, located on the west coast of Portugal you find the Azores, a slice of heaven in the form of a nine-island archipelago. The Azores are the most beautiful islands for a green getaway, and of the islands that make up the Azores archipelago, San Miguel is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful. San Miguel Island in the Azores is the tea capital of Europe and you will discover its plantation. Its heavenly beaches and lush vegetation have earned the nickname of the Hawaii of Europe. Measuring almost 750 square kilometers, it is the largest island in the Azores. The Goriana Tea Factory is the oldest tea factory in Europe still in operation. Founded in 1883, this company remains a family business. The humid and rainy climate, the mild temperature as well as the acidic and volcanic soil allowed the production of a quality green and black tea. Goriana Tea has been internationally recognized for its legacy and for the cultivation and marketing of premium quality teas. Well guys, now I'm going to try green tea. We are in the one and only tea plantation in Europe, in a lost island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. This is very tasty actually and it doesn't have this bitterness of the green tea. It's very nice. I'm going to try the other one. Okay, so this one is green tea with spices. This is actually a sweeter and it tastes like flour. It's very, very nice. Goriana tea is not subject to any use of herbicides or pesticides, making it a 100% organic product. Goriana tea produces and sells tea produced in the orthodox method. We saw that there were tours explaining the manufacturing process but honestly we wanted to go so much to the plantation that we looked around for a bit and then we left. This is one of the most magical places I have ever seen. The incredible thing is how big the plantation is. Another typical thing about this island is the cows and their milk. Guys, so we are starting to go to the fields, but we saw two cows. They, one of them has a chain and I'm a bit afraid to go next to her because she's a bit scared, but look, look how small this cow is. You should definitely try local milk when you come here. Also, seeing the plantation from above and from different angles is an incredible experience. So, we were enjoying our last moments here before going to another very famous destination. So here you have a bench and if you come here I recommend you to sit down and enjoy these views because it's magical. You have the fields and the ocean in front of you. Also you have a lot of hike paths. So if you like hiking, you can start your hike from here and of course you can take amazing pictures from here or have your lunch, your picnic, whatever. You can do many activities here. I think this, the whole plantation is only green tea. I thought there were different kinds of teas but now I think that it's only green tea. And it's so beautiful made, I don't know if this is for aesthetics or they make it that way for the plant itself but it looks like a labyrinth that is so nice to see it's like a painting we're going to the car actually all the places are very easy to go and there is parking for almost every place okay guys don't do this we're going to go to the natural park and we have a very long day ahead because it's only 12 o'clock our next stop is a natural park full of waterfalls walkways and streams in the parking lot there is a map that tells you where you are and where you have to go to discover everything i recommend spending two to three hours at this spot and the first thing you will find is this great waterfall with an incredible force well guys, we are in the natural park and there is a map that shows you all the things you can visit and this is the first thing next to the parking and it's amazing guys I see so many pictures here and I can't believe I'm here so if you come to San Miguel Island, this natural park is a must see Let's go discover more waterfalls
then you continue your way up to find another waterfall a little more hidden. The walk is very pleasant and the vegetation and views are like a movie. Finally, you arrive at a waterfall hidden among the trees and you can enjoy the water passing through the vegetation. After this waterfall we went to the opposite side of the park to discover more things. We continued downstairs and we found the last waterfall. The views from here guys are just stunning. We were enjoying our last moments here before heading towards the next stop. Also we were about to buy local ice cream but we controlled ourselves. We made a stop at the Ponta de Madrugada viewpoint and honestly it scared me a bit because of its height, but it was very beautiful. And this is me playing with a little friend. We are now going to one of my favorite places on the island, but I have to inform you that Google Maps is not very accurate in this place. I must say though that we got lost in a very beautiful field with nice views and these cute cows. I also collected some mint to make tea at night. I wish you could smell it because it smells so good. always right and we stopped in a very strange place and it said that from there we had to walk but we were walking and walking we didn't find anything thanks god we found a man and he told us that we have to drive to the south part to a village and from there the walk is shorter it's two kilometers so Take this into account if you come here and you want to go to Salto do Prego. In the next video I will show you the most magical waterfall on the island. You will also see black sand beaches due to the volcanic nature of this island and hot springs at night. You will continue to discover with me the incredible nature of this place, mountains, lakes and much more. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video.